Forum tent is a tent of ideas, they're panels, speeches, it's like all the university I, I slept through I get to pick up on in a fun, interesting way. In the Forum tent, it's kind of a rarefied atmosphere. This is a great place to chill out and hear smart, funny, interesting people say smart, funny, interesting things. What I can see happening now is the ground shifting beneath us. To say that women have their voices heard now as if we haven't been saying anything is a load of shit. This is the first time that men are actually having to be accountable for what we're saying. The best thing about the forum tent for me is it's a refreshing, it's refreshing. Carbonated just enough so that you can slam it down fast. Yeah. It's a really nice way to have a little bit of downtime in such a hectic festival, like just come and chill out and learn some stuff. People of colour or anyone who is not white is mixed race, whereas like white people who are like Italian and French they're not biracial. Because my family's been in Australia for so long, but looks Chinese, but we don't do any Chinese stuff. I am constantly a disappointment to like every Chinese person I meet. People come here to enjoy the music, of course, but uh, we can complement them with some smart and good ideas, some food for thoughts. The Forum 10 is where big ideas are discussed in friendly ways. That's where I think there's hope as well, is that we're going to have these new leaders coming through that actually understand we can't keep growing as we are. I went to a, a, a forum at the Science Tent, which is not the Forum Tent, but they're very closely related. They're sister tents. Yeah. Can you tell me about the time you turned some human bones into a maracas? I don't know, we had a skeleton in the studio. As you do. What is that? That's a spider oh, it's in a spider. Australia. All right. What kind? Oh, you just killed it! You didn't even know what it was! It's Australia, you killed them. I take the audience very seriously. I'm kind of obsessed with them. I am desperate for your attention, your approval. I feel like that's one of the things that makes Splendor a really special festival, is that they have all the music stuff, and they have all this wellness stuff, and interview tents, and kind of thoughtful, ponderous stuff. At night it transforms. It becomes the comedy tent. Oasis. It's a it's a refuge. Have a have a forum tent. I think it's an incredible space to have at a music festival where you can get people dropping into really beautiful, wholesome conversation. Without something like the forum, you're kind of missing out on what is really important in a in a festival like Splendor Book Club. It wasn't Flat Stanley just flat? Wasn't that the whole thing? Was he always just I flat? Think he oh, was I'm just flat. Have you also read the sequel to Line of the Wardrobe? No. It's pretty shit too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you and I. Like Tony Jones is just hanging out here like a cool guy in his sunglasses. Tony Jones. They discuss both social issues, political issues, but also issues that are related to Splendor in the Grass and festivals and live music. You got a whole festival within the festival going on, and that's what I think festivals should be doing. Where you come out with more than just I saw a bunch of bands and got a T-shirt.